In this video, I'll demonstrate and explain some programming tips when working with groups in MotionWorks IC. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Here's a quick preview. PLC Open Part 4 defines states for grouped access motion. The MC Group Read Status function block provides information on which PLC Open Part 4 state the mechanism is in. Pausing and resuming machine operation is useful when troubleshooting. The MC Group Interrupt and MC Group Continue function blocks can be used to pause and continue the motion segments in the motion buffer. Modifying machine operation velocity can be achieved using the MC Group Set Override function block. The velocities of the motion segments are modified according to the user defined VEL factor ranging from 0 to 1. Parameters are available when working with group mechanisms. They can be accessed by using the following Yaskawa defined function blocks. Now let's look at this in a little more detail. PLC Open is a standard that defines industrial control programming. PLC Open Part 4 defines what is required for coordinated motion, or in this case, group motion. The following diagram shows different states the mechanism can be in when operating. This diagram is very similar to the single axis motion control version found in PLC Open Part 1. The MC group read status function block allows the programmer to see what PLC open states the machine is currently in. This function block contains the six basic group states, along with four extended states and five vendor specific states. The extended states show whether the group is moving or not. The vendor specific states are all motion states, so depending on which motion type is being used will determine the state. For more information on the states, you can go to the MC group read status function block help and there's a description on all the different states and what they mean. This state information can be used when troubleshooting machine operation and to create interlock code for specific application functionality. For example, here's a project that I have pre-made that basically runs a motion profile. Currently, the function block is showing that it is in a group disabled state because the servos are not on. Once I turn the servos on, it will then go into a group standby state so the servos are ready. Starting the motion, it will start running the motion profile as specified by the program. Sending a stop command will put it into the stopping state, and if the stop command is removed, it will then go back into the group standby state. Starting the motion again, let's say I would like to pause the motion. This puts the group into an interrupted state. The block that did the pausing is MC Group Interrupt. MC Group Interrupt is used along with MC Group Continue to pause and resume the mechanism motion. The motion buffer contains the move segments that are either currently processing or will be processed. Interrupting the motion pauses the processing of the current segment in the motion buffer. This does not cancel the motion. Continuing the motion allows the motion buffer to continue processing the motion segments like normal using the machine-defined acceleration. This functionality allows the user to pause the machine to verify if it is working correctly or not. Since the machine was only paused and not stopped, the process can be continued from there instead of starting back at the beginning. Velocity can be manipulated within the motion buffer with the MC Group Set Override function block. This function block acts similarly to the MC Group Interrupt and MC Group Continue function blocks but instead of pausing the motion, it adjusts the speed of the motion. Acceleration and deceleration are scaled according to the VEL factor input. If the user wants to slow down the machine because they want to troubleshoot an issue that is occurring, they can go in and set the feed rate to 0.5, which is about 50% speed, and now the machine will be running at a slower speed. The machine can be set all the way down to 0%, and what this does is it actually brings the machine to sort of a stopped state. But it's not actually stopped. Looking at the MC group read status function block, we're still running motion, it's just the velocity is at zero. The interrupted state is not on either, which means it is still processing, it's just waiting for velocity to become something other than zero. Setting the feed rate greater than zero, we'll start the motion. For single axis mechanisms, the MC set override function block is there to override the velocity setting 
just like the MC group set override function block. Just like for a single servo access, groups have parameters that can be viewed or modified to enable or disable advanced settings. A list of group parameters can be found in the PLC Open Part 4 toolbox help. Some of these parameters are specific to modem and sync robot groups, so they will not work on Mechatrolink groups. These parameters can be read or set using the following function blocks from the PLC Open Part 4 toolbox. A read and write function block is available for each parameter data type. Continuing with our example project, let's say that we want to verify what the feed rate is set to. Reading parameter 2101, we can see that the feed rate is set to 1. If it is changed, let's set it to 0 0.5, we can see that the parameter is updated and we can get that information back. This parameter is a read only parameter, so the feed rate has to be set using the MC group set override function block. Other commonly accessed parameters are buffer minimum, collinearity check, look ahead, and S curve. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Motionworks IEC3 and try out these features yourself with a 30-day demo.